Hello you guys, it's me, Kristen HTC or Kristen Head Turning Crochet and I'm coming to you today with the earring tutorial. So, I'm gonna make this lovely beautiful earring right here. So, it's, it's threading and it's also cro single crochet around the hoop. But yes, this is what we're gonna make and you are going to need some hoops. From your local beauty supply store um, or wherever you order them from you're gonna need some crazy glue you need some scissors you're gonna need a threading needle you're gonna need a threading needle and you're gonna need a hook 2.75 and you're gonna need some crochet thread so we are going to start by put this over here so the first step is to do a hundred and uh, believe a, uh okay first step of course to make your slip knot and take your hoop put it on the hoop and close it. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do 120 stitches, 100 and single, 120 single crochets around the hoop. So yeah, I'm going to pause the video after I, after I make so many and I will catch back up with y'all. So this is one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make sure you slide it up. And pull this a little bit. You can actually cut that down so it won't get in your oh, so it won't get in your way. Cut it down a little bit, but crochet over it. So I'm on number was that eight? I think so. Eight. Ten. So y'all, I will come back when I have 120 stitches so that we can make our beautiful threaded, crochet threaded earrings. So I'll be right back. Hey y'all, I'm back. So I did my 120 um, single crochets around the hoop and I forgot to give y'all the measurements. So this is around Look like a it's, time, it's like a it's not even two inches it's just two and a half I would just say it's two and a half inches or two and a <laughs> look like two and a half inches is these are are these even the same yeah two and a half I would just say two and a half because that's because the other measurement don't make sense so two and a half inch hoops so sorry about that but yes, so I have my 120 and now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut. And I'm going to tie off. And I'm going to cut again. Excuse me for all that loud noise. Okay. So now we are, we're going to need our needle. And we are going to thread our needle with the um with the thread. So you don't want to make it too long because I promise you, you if, if it's too long, you it's gonna get tangled. So I say maybe do an arm a arm length, arm length, you know, or no, spread your arms out and that's how long um you should make it. So I'm gonna thread this. 
I'm going to tie it. Hope y'all can see me. I'm going to double tie it. So, okay. We have our, um, we have our needle threaded. And we're going to take our hoop. And we're going to turn the stitches inward. Okay. So, now we have everything inward and equal okay so now we're we're going to find the middle we're going to find the middle so this is how i mean you can take a ruler and find the middle stitch but i don't want the exact middle i want like this right here you know i want to open it up because this is what we're going to be threading through so this is my middle, but I want to go like, um, maybe over two stitches left or right for, let's go ahead and say, um, left from my middle, um, stitch, two stitches from my middle stitch. And so I just want to take that thread and bring it all the way through. Keep your um, crochet hook handy. So what I want to do is I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna tie it. I'm gonna take it and I thought about this and said, oh, am I gonna be able to tie it? But okay, let me see. Oop, it's kind of hard, but I can get it. Take it and make a knot. Definitely not easy behind being behind the camera, but take it, hold it right there, and take this part and put it through the middle. And you want to slide it down. Okay, so we did it. Took a little while, but we got it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of stretch them apart a little bit so that you can see. I'm placing my needle in the, um, I'm gonna do the second one from the top. So I'm gonna place it in, if you can see that, um, I'm going in between the middle. Like you see, I'm going in between the stitch, like the loop of the stitch. So I'm gonna take my needle and I'm gonna go all the way through there and Pretty much thread everything through. Make sure, make sure you're going through it right, cause baby, you can mess it up. Um, let me see something, cause I might have to. Might have, yeah, it's right. Okay. So, you know, keep that tension tight, and now I'm going to go. And, okay, I have that right there. So I'm gonna make sure I go. I'm going back now. I'm going this this direction. So I'm gonna go through this next stitch. So um, okay. So we're I'm gonna go this way. So I'm go to through each stitch. These little compartments right here. And I'm gonna just pull my thread through. Hopefully it's not tangled, cause I promise you it just, if it's so long, it gets tangled. Okay. Okay. It's easy for this stuff to get tangled up. So I went that way with that one. So when I'm coming, I will um, open this up right here. And the next stitch, make sure it's, make sure your tension is good. Also, keep your tension pretty straight. So I'm gonna go through it here. So when I go up, I'm gonna go this way. And when I'm going down, I'm gonna go this way. Up. 
when I'm going up threading upwards I'm going to go this way this way and then when I'm going down I'm going to go that way so y'all work with me now it's very very easy you could put beads oh snap don't do what I did so I'm glad I, I did this on camera because I have to backtrack because you better make sure you threaten it right because baby you gonna mess it up okay I fixed it but yes so I have this upward so I want to go in not out got it so now we want to go in the back and we want to take that little space open that space up right there can y'all see that and I'm gonna go from the back because I just came from the front and also I'm going down so I'm going this way I'm going left when I go uh, upward, I go right, I think. But anyway, it's real easy. I really can't make it no simpler than this unless my wording is kind of messed up, but yes. So next space is up here and we're going to go this way. We're gonna put our needle that way. So everything is pretty re uh, repetitive. So, but I'm going to keep going and I'll kind of speed it up a little bit. So now we're going in from the back and um, we're going to open that space next to this one and make sure it's tight. Keep it tight. I hope that's right. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. So next we're going to go up and we and our yarn is facing up. So we're going to go this way. We're going to go up into the next space. So, pretty much like we're threading, sewing, somewhat. Okay, now we're down and our yarn is downward, so we're going to go this way. I, my, the worst part is running out of yarn for the um, <laughs> the threading part because you got to keep reloading the needle, but it's, it's not too bad. So, our yarn is facing up and we're going to go this way. Our yarn is facing down and we're at we're on the left side and we're going to go down oh crap make sure you don't get it tangled up because when you get it tangled up you're gonna be so mad you gotta cut it so it looked like this got into a little knot okay I got it or did I yeah, I got it. So, I'm going to keep going. And so, we're up. And we're going to go up this side, the next space. Hope y'all can see this. Okay. So, now we're going to go down into this next space right here. now we're up yeah we're up so I almost went down and messed it up so the yarn is facing up the yarn is up so you go up okay now the yarn is down now you're going to go down and you're going to go in this other space I hope y'all understand so the yarn is up and I almost messed up again you gotta kind of pay close attention to this. I don't think this is the watching TV thing. You have to be focused with this. But yes. I mean, you can go, you can continue to go, you can stop, you can make your own little design, and it's going to be unique. Okay, beads on this are gonna be so gorgeous. I'm gonna do something with some beads too. Okay, not too hard, very simple. So I'm down, I'm gonna go down. Don't 
forget that because you will mess up. And it's it's kind of quick, depending on how many times you got to do your needle and how many times you mess up. It's down. See, I almost messed up again, y'all. Y'all make sure y'all pay attention to what that what way that yarn is facing, cause baby, you'll be mad when you gotta cut it. It's down, I'm going down. So I'm coming up to my stop. So I'm gonna stop right here and reload my needle. I'm gonna go ahead and snip this off. And what I'm going to do is I, I'm gonna use my crochet hook to kind of make a, a knot somewhat so it won't come loose. So I'm, I will, let me see if I can do it on camera. Or you could do this your own way or however you want. I'm going to stick it into the next stitch, right? And I'm going to bring it through a little bit. Ooh, don't mess it up now. Ooh, okay, I got it. Don't pull it all the way through. You see how I still got the loop? So I'm going to go ahead and take that and bring that loop. Close it. And so this is where I stop. So that's always important, you know. I'm gonna cut this before I, after I get, when I thread, let me go ahead and thread. Then I'll cut this so I won't get that spot. I won't get it mixed up anyway, so. But yeah, go ahead and get you some more thread. Yarn or whatever you're using. And I'm going to, oops, sorry. I what I'm doing is how I'm measuring this so I won't get too much is I'm taking it and I'm taking both hands and I'm spreading my both arms arm length both arms straight across so and then I take it and I cut it because I don't I don't want to get too much because you can really tangle it up and it's no fun when you gotta start all over so I'm gonna thread my needle and I'm gonna double knot it, or you whatever you prefer, single, double. I prefer double. Okay, y'all, we got it. We almost finished. Okay. So now this is we know this ain't what we we want to cut that kind of close so we won't get messed up thinking that that's where we started. We, that's where we first started, but this is where we stopped at. So now this can get kind of confusing. Just remember, this was at the top. So we want to start back right there. The, the next space. And we're going to take our thread and... Oh, I thought I wasn't recorded. I'm sorry. So I'm going to take it all the way through like I did last time. I'm going to tie it on. Actually, I could have used that to tie it on, which I am. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take these two pieces and tie them together. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but it's kind of hard to do. And I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna make sure it's tight. You might wanna do a double. Yep, I got it. And we can take care of fixing that when we um, use our crazy glue and our scissors. I'm going to do a little snip, though. Be careful not to cut your stitches because you're going to be mad. Sorry about that loud noise. Got to be more softer. So, okay. We got our thread. Stretch it on out. Okay. So, now we back. We are back at this spot up here. So this is our top part. And this is our bottom. So we're at the top. So we're going to go at the top. To our next spot. Okay. Pull it all the way through. 
Make sure you don't get no tangles because I just had this straight and I'll be darn sent to tangle. Okay, I got it. I think this can get frustrating. But don't get frustrated. Just keep going. Okay, we got it. So now we're starting with our second piece of yarn okay so remember this is down so we want to go over here open this space up next to where you started to make sure it's right make sure you put it in the right spot yeah. and we're down so we want to go down so yeah we're up so we want to go up into this next spot I think we're going to have to thread on at least one more time. Might have should have go ahead and went through that again, but that's okay. It's, 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 it's unique. Okay, so we're going down. We're down over here. Now we're up. The yarn is facing up, so we're going to go in this next. Sorry, I hope I'm in here. The next space. Make sure you're keeping that thread kind of tight. And wait, if I'm up, if I'm up, yeah, I'm up, so I'm going through this one upwards. <laughs> Next spot down. Hold it, hold it, I'm almost up now. Okay, yeah, it's down, so you go under. And now it's up, so we're going to go on this side. Upward. Yeah, downward, downward, behind. There you go. So we're up. Now it's facing up. Go to this next spot. We're going to go down, so we're going to go to this next spot right here. Up, so we're going up.
So I'm coming back to show y'all that I'm going to cut this off again. And I'm going to re-thread. I hope y'all can see because my um, battery is going dead on my phone. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to do the same thing I did last time to um, to uh, knot it off. Go into that next stitch. Bring a loop. Bring it in. Can you see that loop? And I'm that loop. Oh, sorry, that loop. And I'm gonna take that piece and I'm gonna take it through the loop to lock it. So there you go. Back to this. Okay, thread your needle again. Okay, y'all. So I got it. My third one threaded. Okay, so how we can remember where we left off is it should be the longest one. And we want to save that because we're going to tie it on with that. So let's go ahead and bring our thread all the way through. Just enough space on this side. I'm going to tie it to two little pieces of thread. so long it may take a minute but take your time I will do a double just make sure you got that one all the way down it's this one kind of long, but it's okay. Just make your um, knot and then take your scissors and kind of cut them down a little bit. We'll take the crazy glue. Okay, so we flip our earring back to where it was, and it's this way. So now we're up, and I believe we're going, if I'm not mistaken. We're going back. If not, go wherever, wherever. Oh, hold it. That ain't it. We're going to be going up. The yarn is facing upwards. See? I just want to show y'all that you can really mess up. Okay, let's see if we can fix it. I thought I could like come back up this way. Oop. So I'm back. Got all messed up. But yeah, it's going. It's going to the top. I had to really literally cut it out. Cut and start all over with that last um, stitch. You gotta watch it. Okay, so I'm I'm down. Now I want to open this up. So just keep that same pattern going. I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and finish it off. I had to add one more um, threading through. 
So, um, yes. I think I got one more stitch left. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off and tie it up and do my crazy glue. And bam, there we have it. Another crochet earring or threaded earring or whatever you wanna call it. And see, now we just have all these loose ends to cut. Make sure you don't cut your work cause it will unravel. So, okay, I have all these pieces to cut. So I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna put, I'm going to put a little dab of glue, of crazy glue on the stitches. But first, let me tie this one. Let me tie this last one. And what I'm gonna do is do what I've been doing. I'm gonna take the crochet hook and I'm gonna stitch it to the next stitch. Oop, that ain't it. Let me get it good. Okay, I think it's this one right here. I can't see. Okay, that one would just be just fine. Okay, take it through. And take this piece and take it through the hoop, loop. That'll be just fine. So I'm going to put a little bit of crazy glue on each dot. I mean, on each stitch that I wouldn't, you know, that the loose ends. I'm going to sit the bit of glue right here. Can y'all see me? And I'm going to put some glue right here. That's why I really messed up it, but it is it, still good. Just cut off those loose ends, put it right here, and I'm also put some glue right here, scoot that up a little bit, and I'm gonna put a little bit of glue right here and kind of set that up a little bit. Then I'm going to snip, 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 and I thank y'all for watching. Stay tuned for more. Like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below if you're going to try these earrings. I need to put some more glue right there. And also, if you're if the latch is too tight, take the latch off and just use a um a back end. But you gotta watch how tight you're making it too. You can also make it too tight. So, uh, we got our two earrings. Let me cut this last one off. I'm about to put some, bring it to the front or where I can see it. I think it's right here. Um, I think I had already put some glue on and I'm gonna just, you can put some more. Oh, sorry, I'm not even in the camera. I think I might add a little dab. Make sure it won't call my part. And this right here, ooh, that's kind of, because I accidentally uh, went through the wrong loop. But hey, cover that bad boy up. It's okay. And um, there we have it. We have our two earrings. Like I said, if it's too tight, you could cut this part off, cut the latch off. So we have our two earrings. And um, thank you all for watching. And please, Stay tuned for more.